Hi, I'm Taylor with AgriSpray Drones. You've asked and we've listened. Now we're doing a full spreader demo for the Agris T30. So we've got our drone set up out here with the spreader tank in it. We installed the tank and calibrated the product at the office. That's because it's about 35 degrees right now and we felt like doing that in the warm, uh, in the warm shop. So we have the tank installed, our product's ready to go, our field is mapped out. Now all we have to do is set our pounds per acre. So for today, we're going to do, let's just do 15 pounds an acre. Splite speed, we're going to crank that all the way up. Spinner disc speed, likewise, we'll crank that all the way up. And our height, we're going to run this at 15 feet high. Now I should note that we, when we set this field up, we did a swath width, a route spacing of 30 feet. So in terms of spread pattern on the T30, we always recommend that everybody does their own testing uh, for each product that they're doing. That's because there's a lot of variables when it comes to spread pattern in terms of how high you're flying, how fast the spinner disc speed is, how fast the drone is flying, and the density of the product. Those all factor into play when it comes to how far you can actually throw that product and how much coverage you can get. We typically find that a 30 foot pattern is pretty common between 15 and 20 foot. But again, we always do recommend that uh, you do your own calibration and testing on your own. So now that we have everything selected, we actually needed to select our product. So we calibrated, we, we're spreading kitty litter today. Now don't laugh. Kitty litter is cheap and it doesn't sprout in the field. So it's a really easy product to do a demo with. Okay, so now we just click yes and our template's modified. So we're going to go ahead and save the template and run it. Now all we have to do is dump in our kitty litter. So you'll notice on the spreader, the bottom of the tank, you have an agitator that spins all the time uh, to sense whether product is not is down there or not. And then you have another agitator below that that is not spinning. That spins whenever the gate is open. And underneath that, you have a gate. T30 has a nice large opening, easy to dump either bags or buckets into. We've actually had some guys use a seed tender. So that right there was 52 pounds. You can see we've got extra room le left yet. We find you can dump about 70, 65 to 70 pounds of product into this granular tank. The capacity is 40 liters, 40 liter capacity. That translates to about 70 pounds of granular material. On the granular tank, you also see uh, these right here, those are actually scales. So it has four scales, so it weighs the product when you dump it in. Underneath, you'll see a spinner disc. That's the disc I was talking about where you can uh, change the spinner speed. So we have everything selected, like I mentioned. Select OK. And then we just hit Start. Oh, we have our RTK turned on. Uh, turn our RTK off. There we go. Start. It's going to upload everything to the drone, just like it does with the liquid side. And then you can set your route uh, connection speed. So that's at 22 feet, I'll lower that down to 16 feet, about the same height as, uh, as the height that we're flying at. And then set your, uh, your speed to and from the field. Then next, you just make sure that the drone is for sure set up. The uh, takeoff area is clear, and you slide it, and it's going to take off. And start spreading.
So just like with the liquid, it uses the radar to determine its height. So you can actually set your height all the way up to about 50 feet. If you want to cover a lot of area with a very little bit amount of product, say for seeding in um, uh, into forested areas, wildflower seeding, uh, you can set your height really, really high. You can also set your height really, really low. You can adjust everything on the fly. Just like with the liquid side, if you wanted to change your rate, change your flight speed, spinner disc speed, anything else, you can adjust that all on the fly. You can also see our payload right now is at uh, 43 pounds. Our hopper outlet side is 22 point, hopper outlet size is 22.7 percent. So you can see our payload is going down as it flies. Everywhere it spreads, it paints green, just like on the liquid side. Everywhere it's going to spread, it paints yellow. We have 24 satellites right now, 81% battery in the drone. Our altitude right now is 14.3 feet high. And of course, you can pull up your cameras, front and back. There you can see the product coming out the back of the drone. You can kind of see those granulars flying out the back of the drone. Here it's coming back in. So I'm going to go ahead and crank this up on the, our amount, just so maybe we'll be able to see something coming out of the drone. We're going to do 50 pounds to the acre. There you see the drone's going to slow down. And I'll crank our speed up. All right. So now you can see I've got 50 pounds instead of 15 pounds. So our hopper outlet percent changes. We're still flying at the same speed. We're putting on 50 pounds instead of 15. The granular spreader can dump that full tank in right about a minute on, at 100% opening. So if you wanted to put out a lot of product, uh, you could do that. So there we have just about two pounds left. And there are, says our spray tank is empty. So the drone is going to turn around and come back home to us. And there, no, it told us that our actual amount spread was 21 pounds to the acre. It doesn't meet our requirements, but that's because we, we changed a bunch of stuff while we were spreading. So if you get this message, and if you have it set to 15 pounds to the acre, and it tells you that it actually put on 21 pounds to the acre, well, then you know that you need to reduce your target rate um, to get your actual rate to where you, where you want it. So it actually also tells us how much area we spread, how much area is remaining, how many pounds total was used. So it's extremely accurate. Those bags uh, weigh right at 52 pounds. It says it did 51.6, but to be honest with you, we spilt some in the trailer. So I'm guessing that is, that is really accurate on the scale. Just like with the liquid side, it hovers at 10 feet, asks you for manual auto landing, so we're just going to click auto. It's going to come down and land. You can see it's kind of windy here, so that drone's tilting into the wind. So at this point, we just have to dump our next bag in and hit continue.
That's what's great about the T30 with the big opening like that, super quick refill time on the granular side. If I would have had this open and ready, we ought to be filled by now. So now we just want to check our battery life. So we're at 55%, but we're going to crank our spreader amount up. There are 50 pounds to the acre. We're actually going to crank this up a little higher. So just so you guys can see how fast this tank can actually dump. Let's just go ahead and put on 200 pounds per acre. Extremely unrealistic, but we'll just do it anyways. So 200 pounds per acre. So the drone knows that it can only fly at 11 feet per second if you're putting on that much product. So that means our gate is going to be open 100% to hit that target rate. So click OK, hit save and run. And we're going to cancel this field and restart. So we restart on the, on the close side. Just so you guys can see how this works. All right, everything saved. We'll hit yes. Erase that. Hit start. It'll upload. We're going to slide the takeoff. So there's 50, it says 53 pounds in the drone right now. There you can see a lot of product coming out. We'll open up our camera here. There you see a lot of product coming out. Our hopper outlet size actually isn't all the way open. It's at 78%. So we could open it up a little bit further. But there you see our pounds. It's just draining that tank super quick. This is pretty unrealistic, but if you wanted to broadcast some urea, let's say, or ammonium nitrate and spot application on, on uh, corn or, or wheat, then this is how you do it. You just do these short runs, dump 70 pounds at a time. And there you see, what did that take us? I mean, the drone's empty. It's coming back right now. That took, what, maybe 20 seconds at the most to dump that tank. Now it's back and it's going to land. So that's pretty much it on the granular tank as far as operation goes. Extremely user friendly, extremely easy to get set up. Fill it, put how many pounds per acre you want, adjust accordingly on your next pass if you're putting out too much or too little. It does all the rest of the calculation for you. So you can see we did some at 15 pounds an acre and then some at 200 pounds per acre. And that's just to demonstrate the range of the spreader tank. So what are guys going to use this uh, this spreader for? A lot of it's going to be cover crop overseeding. So overseeding prior to harvest on corn or soybeans, uh, where you're putting out product like uh, maybe turnips or radishes or um, clover, something like that, maybe 10 pounds to the acre. So very easy to do with this drone and very efficient at that rate. So you're putting on 10 pounds an acre. If you can fit 70 pounds of product in there, that's seven acres per flight. That's going to take you roughly 10 minutes to do. So you know, six times seven, there's your acres per hour on a 10 gallon or 10 pound rate. Then you look at uh, something like uh, fertilizer. So if you have to spot spread urea in corn, where maybe you have some grounded out spots in corn uh, that still have a stand, but you just lost nitrogen due to leaching or denitrification, you can actually use urea or um, ammonium nitrate. And even though you'd be putting on a lot of, you know, actual product, maybe 40 pounds of actual product, um, you know, or excuse me, 40 pounds of nitrogen, 100 pounds of actual product. You can still dump that tank really fast with this drone. And even though it's going to take a lot of trips, you'll still get it done. A huge, a huge range of applications uh, for the granular spreader on the T30. Um, there's a lot of other things that guys are going to start using this spreader for. Um, a lot of things that guys are thinking about using it for. Kitty litter obviously isn't necessarily practical, but course you can spread it if you got a lot of cats too. We've got a lot of experience with the T30, uh, probably more experience than about anyone in the nation right now. We have drones uh, in about 16 different states. 
we sell nationwide. If you're thinking about getting into this and you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Hopefully we can answer your questions and get you started and uh, you can have success for the next season. Thanks.